Hi all, welcome to .NET Mob. In this video, I am going to show you how to export data set or data table into an Excel file. In case of data set, each table will be created as Excel sheets. You can use this method in any C sharp application. It can be Windows application or WPF or ASP.NET application also. For the purpose of simplicity, I will be using Windows application in this video tutorial. I have tried some other methods to export Excel file, but in those cases I got some error like file format or file extension is not valid. To use this method, you need to have Excel installed on in your PC. Exported Excel file will be look like this. You can download this project that I used in this video tutorial from video description below. In this project, we will learn how to export data set or data table into an Excel file and to style Excel columns by bolding or coloring and we will learn how to merge Excel columns and how to align them horizontally or vertically. This is a Windows application project to generate Excel file. It contains only one Windows form and a button. In the button click event, I have written the code for Excel export. I will run the application in debug mode so that I can explain each line in parallel. So let's get started. Let me put a breakpoint in this button click event here and I am going to run the application by clicking F5. Press the export to button. Here we have a function get data set. It will return a data set containing three tables named table 1, table 2, table 3. The data set will look like this. Table 1, table 2 and table 3. Each table is populated with same data containing some best novels of all time. When we look into the function get data set, here you can see that I have populated the rows with hard coded data so that you don't need to so that you don't need any DB integration after downloading the project from link given in video description function export data set to excel will generate the excel with our data set it contains two parameters data set and excel directory into which into which generated excel file will be saved so i have passed the data set and the directory that is application startup path that will be the application bin debug path before that we need to add the microsoft.office.indrop.excel assembly into project reference it is only available if you have installed an excel application on your system in the function export data set to excel we have some local variables in header length in column in row other than that there is a default variable initialized with reflection dot missing dot value it can be useful when we pass values into excel file we use the variable default in place of optional values here we append the excel name at the last part of excel directory at the last part of excel name we append date name also to avoid the duplicate excel file name in the directory in date name part there will be a colon in windows we can name a file with colon so i am going to replace the colon with hyphen here then we will create an application object excel application object before that you need to know here office excel is used as 
alias for Microsoft Office dot interrupt dot Excel namespace. Okay. Then we will create an Excel. Then we will create an Excel using the application object here. In this for loop, we will write three tables into three sheets of the Excel. In the first step, we need to add an Excel sheet. We can do that by sheet by calling sheet dot add function. In the function, we can specify the position of the sheet. So here I have the I have passed the position as sheet count. So each time we will add new sheets are created as last sheet of the Excel. Then we will name the Excel sheet with the table name like table 1, table 2, table 3. Then we will write the column name into Excel file. In Excel applications, indexes start from 1 not 0. After that, we will write table data into the Excel using these four two for loops. And here we are going to color the intermediate rows like this. That is what I have done here. Here we are going to specify the cell range. Excel cell range uh, like A1 to G4. Then we are setting the background color by using interior dot color. You can set this color like system dot drawing dot color dot any color white or red. Here I have specified the color using the hexadecimal color code. like this it might be useful if you are not satisfied with system dot drawing dot colors then i will use then i will use chrome extension named uh, color picker or colorzilla if you want to color the cell with this color then color code is copied into copied that can be used here that is what i have done here okay so after writing the table content then we are going to style and write the Excel header part that is this part create novels of all type. We are specifying the header cell range that is A1 to G3. A1 to G3. Then we will merge using merge function like this. Then we are setting the background color to white, then font color to gray setting horizontal and vertical alignment to center font size to 26 and setting the header value to get novels of all time then styling the table header name that means this part So the range will be cell range will be like this A4 to G4. Then bolding the table header column header, setting the font color to white, back background color to some hexadecimal value, setting the horizontal alignment to right. 
then here we here we are going to format the cell content if you look at this price column here I formatted the price column to decimal format that is that is what I have done here 0, 0.00 if you want use another format for numbers you can use 0 for decimal you can use 0, 0.00 for dates you can use mm forward slash dd forward slash y y y y i have tried to format this published date also but i couldn't because these dates are all dates it, it was not successful then we are going for auto fit that means the application will automatically expand column width according to the column content otherwise you may see hash value date columns or any other column that is that will occur if you if we are not going for auto fit in the same way we will write remaining two tables then we are going to delete the first page first page means not the table one sheet it, it will be default sheet I will show you what I mean if you are going to create an excel file manually like this you can see a default sheet named sheet 1 so here we are going to delete that default sheet using this for line and we are going to save the generated excel into the directory with name specified here and the uh, we need to pass some optional parameters values so I passed default that means the reflection that means reflection dot missing value you can specify whether it is read only or not so then we will close the workbook object And we will re then we will release the application object. Excel generate successfully. Okay, that's it. You can see the generated Excel like this table Excel header. table header table data sheet name table 1 table 2 table 3 you can download the project that I used in this video tutorial from link given below in video description please come and your feedback and doubts in comment section below and don't forget to subscribe my channel dotted mob for more awesome videos like this please like and share this video to your friends so that you they can benefit from this video that's it have a nice day bye